where do you go to find that motivation to keep the fight alive? When you're down that path and all you're seeing is rejection and adversity and demise, how do you continue that path when the monkey on your back feels like a 500 pound gorilla weighing you down? How do you put one foot in front of the other, continue the journey and that endeavor of life and cross that finish line? You answer that question, you just answer life. That's the million dollar question right there. If your mouth is a window to your body and the nutrition that comes through your mouth enables your body to grow strong and have a capable fundamental structure or whatever you want to do physically, your eyes are the window to your soul of belief, inspiration, of willpower. And just like when you put something in your mouth and you chew it, they can either enhance the physique of yourself or be the demise depending on what you're eating. The same goes true with what you see. There's a visual diet out there that's good and bad. There's negative energy if you look at it and you focus on you allow that to come in, it'd be a demise of your willpower. The demise of your self-confidence, what you can be and what you believe in. You focus on the negative so much, you start to believe that negative shit exists in you. It's a negative, unhealthy diet, visually. You must focus on the positive things in life. When you're going through your day, guys, there's a million of these examples out there. When you see them, stop yourself in the tracks. Give credit. Remember the name of that person that did something. With a common man, overcame the odds and lived the impossible. When you see that, take notice and remember that you will use that later in your own journey when you're feeling fatigued and weak. That'll be the spark that keeps you going on that journey when that gorilla is on top of you. To make sure you get through that finish. But having a sound diet physically and a sound diet visually is only two thirds of the equation. There's one big missing element. There's no name for that element. Call it the X Factor if you want. But one is in us. That X Factor is in every single one of us, guys. It's a seed that's planted at birth inside of every single soul. 99% of the people never let that seed blossom into anything. It was buried because they don't know how to nourish it. They don't know how to feed it, caress it, protect it. That seed is not a genetic code. I mean, it's not like someone had a big seed, someone has a small seed. We all have the same seed. And it's the trials and tribulations of life that either make that seed blossom or not. How do we feed that seed? One's fear, one's failure. They're the only two that grow it. Fear and failure.